tests his massive 400 mile per hour XB-35 flying wing. Powered by four turboprop engines, this aircraft is seen by some as the bomber of the future. This was where Northrop's vision really started to take shape because the XB-35 uh, had a wingspan of about 60 meters. This is a big airplane, even by today's standards. Its problem was that whilst its top speed was about 400 miles an hour, its speed in long-range crews was only 185 miles an hour. Just a year later, Northrop unleashes the new YB-49. Powered by eight Allison jet engines, this 172-foot wingspan Goliath is capable of flying at over 500 miles per hour at a ceiling of 40,000 feet. Jack Northrop has taken the American wing off the design boards and into the air. Although years ahead of its time, it is incredibly difficult to fly, and without computers to help control it, the U.S. Air Force feels that as a bomber, it is too unstable and dangerous. In late 1949, and in an unprecedented decision, the government orders that all Northrop YB-49s are to be destroyed. The flying wing looks destined to be dumped into the circular file of history.